Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to my Minecraft Security Breach map tutorial. Finally, we are on the last part of the entrance, and today, we are we will be adding the entire roof. It's taken a while to get here, and I'm sure that you guys can agree, but at the end of this video, the entrance will be officially 100% complete. After this, though, we will begin on the daycare, which I am completely unsure when we will start that. My guess is it will either be before or after my Roxy Raceway Showcase video. But for now, let's go ahead and finish up the entrance. Alright, so we're going to start at the main entrance itself, where we first started episode 1. So we're going to go ahead and place the main roof at this part here, and we will work our way downwards. So first, grab your red concrete and go all the way out to that pink block, and then just keep bringing it out until it goes right about to this one glass right here. And you can go ahead and place one right there just to cover that up. And now just do the exact same thing on this side here and bring it all the way out to that glass, as it, just like the other side. And you can place that right there, just to cover up there. And now we're going to place stone on top, so follow me with the outline. The stone is going to go all the way here, and it's going to go across the glass to cover up from seeing um, the outside below. And just go out to the red block right there. And then bring it all the way back, and it should line up right there. So now just fill this in, and I'll be right back. And there we go, now we have all of this filled in, and we're going to continue adding the stone downward. So right below, or right against that red block, bring your stone all the way out, and ma make sure it matches up with the other side. And then place one more block down below, which should be on that blue light, on that light blue concrete, and bring it all the way across again, until it ends up right there. So now we have this little part just right here above the entrance. So now we're going to grab our black concrete, we're going to come all the way over here, so make sure um, it's going to line up with the exact stone. So it's going to be two blocks below, or on the second block below, so right there. Place one in the corner, so it looks like that. And just go all the way out, so it's going to it's going to go straight all the way to the very other side. So just watch what I'm doing here. And eventually when you get to the other side, it should line up perfectly with that green pillar right there. It should line, uh, that green pillar that's next to Chica's poster. And then just follow along with what I am outlining. So we are going to fill all of this in here. Going all the way around this green pillar here. And it should line up right with that, right, right, right with the stone again. And you can bring this all the way back too. Make sure it goes around the green pillars, and it should be one block above the actual poster, so it's not covering any of the poster below. And it should just line up right there. So, once you have all of that outlined, you're going to fill all of this in here. And then once you have done that, it may take just a little bit of time, but once you have done it, um, I'll show you what it looks like. So, I will be right back. Alright, there we go. I now have all of it filled in, and it is really dark here. So, this is what I said we were- I mentioned this in the last video. We are going to place sea lanterns just randomly in some hidden corners and place the carpet that matches the block. So like I place the sea lantern and I place the white carpet on top so it, it kind of blends it in a bit. And it also lights it up a bit. So I just place a couple of these around like one there. Um, we can place like one maybe right in the corner there. And make sure you have the carpet that matches the exact block. And you can place them on both sides. So there it kind of lights up the place a bit to make it seem more bright. Uh, we can go ahead and place some lights in front of the gate to brighten it up. And you can, let's place one, let's see, grab your light gray concrete so it will match with the end in sight. And we'll place some right there. Alright, there we go. So now this whole little area is here lit up. You can add as many as you want to make it as bright as you want. And But now we're going to go ahead and add the lights here, so it should hopefully help. So go ahead and grab your sea lanterns, iron bars and your end rods, just in case. So, we are going to start, let's see, right about here. So we're going to come out, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, mm, actually, hold on, let's go, hold on, wait, um, go back to, so go back to right here, and 
So let's go one, and so right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the eleventh block, it's gonna be right here. And place four more out, and you can go ahead and get rid of this. And here you can place your iron bars going all the way up. Okay, so here I'll let me tell you one one thing real quick. Right, go all the way up. There we go. So it should just look like that. So here's one thing. Obviously, these lights are not actually in the game. But it's because it it lights up the place more. Because if they were in like the actual roof, there would be like there would be no light down below. I'll change the night. I'll change the night time right now. Mainly, you you can see the light here. It's not so visible, but you you get a little bit of light. Here, it's mainly focusing on the roof and not quite down here. You can't really see it, but that's where the end rods come in. That's where I place four end rods. And now, it, obviously, you can't really see it that much, but the, we're going to have a ton more going across. I just kind of have it looking like this, so it's kind of hanging down to light it, light it up a bit more. That's why I do not use this. So we are going to stick with these lights here. Let's change the time back to day. And we are just going to do, um, well, multiple more. So let's go ahead and continue on. Let's see. Right here. Same length. So, like, right to here. We'll go all the way out. So now, we are going to just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 on the 12th block. So it's going to be one more over and then place four there. And you can go ahead and get rid of all of these. Put that back. And now we're just going to do the same thing. Bars going all the way up to the very top. And then the end rods just below it. Now we're going to add another one, which is going to be right on the exact same length. So going across. And let's start it right on Monty's face. So we're gonna go one more out, so get rid of that. So it's gonna be right here. We're so this is one block, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. On the eleventh block, it's gonna be the exact same as that first one. So we're just gonna get rid of all this once more. Grab our bars again. And place our end rods below it. So now we, we're starting to get more lights in, which it should hopefully light up the place more. Now let's do the other one, which is going to be, once again, exact same length, so right to here, and it's going to be about, like, right here. So this is one block, so we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, actually, I don't even need to say it, So because it, it's going to be the exact same length as this light once again. It's going to line up right over there, get rid of all of this again, grab our bars, and place our end rods below. And let's go ahead and do more lights now. So once again, exact same length right here, right to here. So we're gonna go two blocks out, and then right here we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on the twelfth block again. So it's gonna be the exact same as that one all the way over there. Get rid of all of this, and just the exact same thing. Place our bars. place our end rods, and there. Now, this one should be a bit easier, so just come all the way across, it's the exact same height, and we're going to start right here. So two blocks, and it's just going to go, it's going to go one, two, and right here. The exact same as that one there. Same thing, place our bars, and our end rods. And for the last one, the same thing, the exact same length. Except we're going to place it right... Let's see... Pause. Three, two, one, go! Right here, so one, and it's just going to be the exact same... Actually, no. It's going to go one, two, three, and then four. On the fourth block, right there. So it's going to be three blocks out. And on the, on the fourth, and then fifth. So it's going to look like that. Our bars. And our end rods. Now we're not done yet, but we're al almost. We just have two more lights to go on this side, so let's go ahead and do this now. 
So once again, exact same height as these sea lanterns. And let's do right about here. So one, two, and then three, four. So there's two blocks out. The exact same as that one, but just like over there. Same exact height. And our end rods. And then now, go across and we'll have one right here. So go one, two, three. On the fourth block is where we're going to have it. So once again, exact same as that one way over there. Our bars. And our end rods. Now, we have all of the lights and this little roof here all done. And we're gonna go ahead and start on, um, I'd say, let's start on some of the, let's start on the roof over here and over here now. So let's go ahead and start on this side first. So we're gonna come over here. We're going to go to this green pillar using our black concrete and go one, two blocks out. On the second, you're gonna place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 blocks. 24 blocks out from that second block out of that green pillar. 24 blocks out. We're then go, going to go up one. One, two, three. We're going to go up one more. One, two, three. Up again. One, two, three. Up, none, up, up another. One, two, three. So it is one, two, three. So it's, it's one, two, three, four of going three blocks. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three going four times from there so it should look like this below and then you're going to go up one more and this should be at least about actually no we, we go up one so one two three and then we go up one one more and it's so it should be a three block gap or uh, so yeah it should look just like this so one two three blocks so we have room for the sea lantern go all the way across and go three blocks out so it should be to here so it's there so it's one two three so it, it at least has a two block gap in the middle so we can place sea lanterns in the middle like that and then this just goes all the way around once again three blocks out so one two three blocks and it's going to go all the way across oh wait a minute I have made a small mistake. This is supposed to be one block down. As you can see, this is not the height as the black concrete below. Look. It doesn't line up. Okay, that, that's, that's simple. Just add one extra layer below it and then get rid of the layer on top. So just follow what I'm doing. All the way. And then all the way back. And then just get rid of this on top. And you should be good. There we go. Now it's the exact same as this over here. So we at least have that now in. So go ahead and fill all of this in exactly where this is. This, you can get rid of this because there's going to be black concrete here. And then once you have done that, so yeah, just go ahead and fill all of this in. All that over here, all this over here, and then we'll place the sea lanterns on this, and, and then we'll do actually that side next. So go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. We now have all of this filled in, and it should look just like this. So now we're actually going ahead and um, we'll do that side next, but let's just add these sea lanterns here. So we're not going to do what we did right here by adding all of these big hanging things. Otherwise, it would just, it wouldn't fit, and it would also look kind of weird. Here is where I use these single lanterns. So I'm just gonna go as close as I can to the middle, so it's like, that is about the middle. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and it should be, it should be one, two, kind of looking like that. So from the very corner of that pink block, one, two, three, and up one, it should look just like that and place the sea lantern right there. And let's go like one, so it's kind of hard to see, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll place the sea lantern. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, another sea lantern. I'm just, um, breaking these so you guys can see the spaces, because it's hard to see with black concrete. Now here, we need to go up at an angle, so we are going to go one, two, three. Let's go, let's start making little spaces now, so three, place the sea lantern, let's go one, two, one, three, so like that. Here, we'll go kind of right there, like on the corner. 
Here we'll go one, two, three, four, five, like that. Then one, two, three, four. We'll place one right on the corner. Uh, let's go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, or on the fourth, and then one, two, three, four, and five, right there. Now just fill all of this back in with the black concrete. And there we go, we now have the sea we now have the sea lanterns under here, so now it's kind of lit up under here. You can see it a bit better, and it also goes all the way wrapping around to there. So now we're just gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Once we have done this on this side, we will put the whole stone roof all over this. So this whole main part of the entrance will be covered with the roof and the lights. So now So we're gonna come over here and do the exact same thing. So it's one so this corner, one block down and go out to the second block, and it's going to be one block, so right there. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. The exact same length on that side is 24 blocks out. Now, we are going to go up, instead of going up in 3, it's going to go up in 2. So we're going to go up 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, let's see, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 7, 8. So that is 8 blocks of going up by 2, so 2, 2, 2, 2, of going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blocks, and it should just look just like this from under. And now we're going to go once again, one more block up, so just to see if that is 1, 2, yep, that is 3 blocks, so one more block up, and just doing the exact same thing, make sure it is three blocks out, so one, two, three, yep, so it should be, alright. Same thing on this side, go all the way around, one, two, three, wrapping around, should be the exact same as that, and we have that. So now, you can actually just go ahead and do the exact same thing on that side, fill this in, and I will be right back. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and add in all of the sea lanterns, once you have gotten all of this filled in. So once again, we're gonna start right about here. So actually, let's go one more block, one block upward. So it's from this, so kind of like that. So from this, it's one, two, three, and up one. So it's gonna be right there. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. One, two, okay, that's not exactly centered. I'm gonna move it back one more. So it's gonna move back one more. So instead it's one, two, three. So just three blocks out and on the top is the sea lantern. Now we're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, sea lantern, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, let's go on the 7th block is the sea lantern, now we're gonna go 1, 2, let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, so 1, 2, 3, and then on the 4th, and then it's 1, 2, 3, and we'll place 1, 4, 5 on the 5th block, right there. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five on the fifth block. Then one, two, one, two. So looking like that. And now we're gonna go one. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four on the fifth. One, two, three, four. Let's go over to the very edge. So it's gonna be kind of looking like that. Uh, so wait. So this is one, two, three, four. Move this over one more. So it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, that's fine. So it should be on the corner, then go 1, 2, 3, 4 on the 5th, 1, 2, 3, 4 on the 5th, 1, 2, 3, 4 on the 5th, 1, 2, 3, on the 4th instead. Then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 on the 5th once again. Now, let's go ahead and fill all these blocks in that I've uh, destroyed. Alright, there we go. We now have the lights in all on this side now, and that this little part on both sides. So what we are going to do, we, we are going to go ahead and do is add the stone roof going all the way across all of this, 
And actually, one thing we're going to add real quick. We get rid of our carpet. And let's grab our pink concrete and pink stained glass. There is one neon light that is all the way across here. So we're going to place it until it goes right here. And it's just right under all of this, going all the way across here, all the way to the back. And you can place your pink stained glass. All the way to the back. So there's just one more neon light. And we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. Instead of ends right, instead of ends just right there. And we're going to bring it all the way to the back. Right to there. Grab your pink stained glass and place it all the way across. There we go. So now we have two neon lights just looking like that. So let's go ahead and add the stone roof here now. Okay, so grabbing our stone, it is going to be from here. It is going to be one block above everything. But before we do that, we are going to place our sea lanterns all the way across. Now, this is in-game, but it is more hidden behind the black concrete where you cannot really see the light. But when I tried originally tried doing that in my other world, it was actually very hard to see it, and it didn't really give a lot of light. So I'm placing it one block out on top of the black concrete, so it is going to be just looking like that all the way across. Same thing here, it is going to go on this side as well. Then on, also on where we placed here. Same thing around, and it's just going to end right there on the third block. It's going to look kind of weird, but you won't really notice it because people don't really look up all the time. And then just do the exact same thing on this side. There we go. So now we have all of these lights, and now this is where the roof is going to sit. So we're going. To, the roof is going to be. So I'm going to outline where it's going to go first. So just follow me on where I'm going to outline it. The roof is going to go all the way over here, covering everything where you see open space. So it's going to go on. Go, it's going to go on top of the sea lanterns all the way across. Oh wait. Oh, actually, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Wait, okay. So. This actually is not supposed to be there, it's supposed to end. So get rid of all this, it's actually just supposed to end right here. So once again, once again, just get rid of all of this right here. I made a small mistake. It should just look just like that. And now just, uh, continue with the block placing here. Let's go all the way across, same thing on this, it's gonna go all the way across here. Lanterns. And it's just going to end right here, and we're going to bring this across all the way to there. And then just bring this out. Bam. So now I have it all outlined where you're going to place all of the stone. So go ahead, it may, it's going to take a, definitely is going to take quite a bit of time. But once you get it, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And it should look just like this. Alright, so this is what it should look like after you have filled in everything. Now obviously, this is very dark. That is why we're going to go ahead and grab our carpet again. So grab your light gray carpet, and just in case, our white and black carpet. And we're going to place sea lanterns around some corners where you won't really be able to see them. But also in a place where it will light up the place, where it will light up the entrance more. Kind of in uh, some hidden areas. It doesn't have to be exactly hidden, but at least in some areas where it lights it up. And even you can place them like uh, somewhere in the, um, in the tiles. You can place one there. Uh, same thing here, you can place some carpet, uh, some sea lanterns here. Obviously the sun is still shining, so we're, we're gonna add that next, don't worry. We'll add some on this side as well. And also, we're gonna add more sea lanterns here, so we can place one, like, right there. 
We can place one right there. One right there. We're gonna have like two in the, uh, maybe one outward. One right there. One, we'll have one right there. Oh, or, sorry, one more outward. We'll have two, actually. Actually, no, sorry. We'll have two on each side of the garage door there. We'll have one right there. We'll have one, like, kind of in the... Actually, you know what? No, no, no. We'll have one there. And one here. We can add a couple more lights. Like, maybe just one there or one there. Just some in, some, just some in areas where it, where it will light up the place. So you can at least see. And if you think and if you think that that is enough, I think I may place like one more right here. Like we'll I'll have like maybe one there, one here, maybe one there. So at least you can you're able to see around the whole entrance. And I think that that may be enough lights. And if you want, you can probably out add some out in the open just to light it up a bit. I'm not going to, but you can go ahead and go you can go ahead and do that. But there we go, we now have this whole part of the roof, and this whole part of the roof here, and all on this side. Which is actually, it. The, this is really starting to take place. I mean, I'm really liking how this whole place is looking. And I hope that you guys are too, because this does look really, really nice. Obviously, a lot of, some of the pixel art, like I mentioned in the last video, was from Cup of Tea. But, it still does look amazing. So now, we are going, we are going to go ahead and work on the main roof over here. Alright, so there was one mistake that we have made in the previous episode, and that is the roof of the Faz Pad. This is one block too low, so this is supposed to be this height, while the roof is obviously sitting here, so that means we need to go up here, because obviously, the roof is supposed to be on this block. You can't be down here and look into the sky from here. That's why we need to move this up one block, and when we do that, we go onto the inside, we can get rid of this. It also opens up more light, too. We, will we would have to raise this up by one more block, but it would look like that from the, in from the outside, and you wouldn't be able to see up. So we need to raise this up by one more block, including this. So that means get rid of this and just place one, one more layer of glass on the top. So there should be three blocks away from the top, looking like this. And this, this right here, or this would be like where we're gonna have the roof. It should be lining up right under this um, pink concrete. So go ahead, um, we're going to raise this up by one more block. So you can go ahead and just follow along with what I'm doing. Alright, so there we go, it's now raised up one block, and you can grab your, uh, grab our, your green terracotta, and obviously raise this up by one more block. All the way around. And you can now go on the inside, and just remove this bottom layer here. And yes, we're gonna fix the chains too, because otherwise they would just be floating there. and just raise this up by one more. We're gonna have to grab our chains again. And also have your lanterns too. Place just the chains obviously up one more block so it is connecting with the ceiling. And we can place the actually we can place a lantern like right there. Then we can probably rate actually let's go ahead and raise these down by one. So it's going to look like this. So you have more room to walk around instead of running into them, which is, which could happen sometime. So raise these chains up by one more. 
Um, normally, the lantern would look like this, but we're going to get rid of these, and we're going to place them like that. So, once again, you have more room to walk. This is fine. This is... you can... Here, let's just have that down with my one more, and one right there. So, it looks like that. And this, these lanterns here, they're, they're fine. You can keep them just like that. And there we go, we now have all of that fixed, so the fast pad is all, is all correct. Now, obviously, um, the, so this is perfect, but this is supposed to be three blocks. So this is one other thing. So this here is supposed to be raised up by one block. And then all of this around is just going to be raised up by one more block, including that there. The sea lanterns are fine. The sea, the sea on, sea lanterns, sea lantern signs, those are fine. You can keep those just where they are. But everything else goes up one more block. by one and you can actually we forgot to raise up this pillar in the last episode so let's go ahead and do that now raise that all the way up to the top just like that that is going to be fine because actually you know we'll see we'll see how it goes when you do it so raise that up by one more everything else here this actually can go up by one so it should just look like this so that's all raised up by one more block this has a three block space that is actually okay hold on this is has, this has to be one more block up my mistake. So raise that up one more block and replace this with red concrete. Same thing here. There we go. And just replace all of this with red concrete. Alright, there we go. Now that we have all that fixed, let's go ahead and now actually start working on the main roof. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we are going to raise this up by one more, so it's, uh, we're gonna have that there, uh, that there, and that there, so it's just raised one more block up, so it is lined up with this red pillar. Now, we are going to grab our stone, and we are going to start placing this all, all around. So, here, it's going to be here, we are going to, so we are going to go ahead and place, actually, so this is here, we are going to go ahead and place one, two, three blocks upward. So it's going to be three, three blocks from there, and you can place um, stone there because you're not going to see back there, and we don't want any light getting in. And you can just place that on top. So you can place three blocks going all the way, and just go ahead and outline all of this. So it's going to follow all the way around this magenta concrete, going all the way over here and ending up right here. And it's also, it's also going to go right here too, right, um, right here too. So you can fill this this part in here all, all, it, obviously it doesn't look good right that look good like that but we're gonna add something there so it covers up that all right there we go now that we have that in we are going to do the exact same thing on this side now so this is also going to go one two three and look like that you can cover this up so it just looks like that. And then this is just going to go all the way around here, following around these exact outlines. Going over all of this, all of this, and also here too. So I'll place it in the areas where you can see it. So this is where we're going to have it. So place all of this all along here, along uh, all the way up to here, all the way up to that block. And I'll see you in just one second. Alright, there we go. We now have the stone placed all across here. We are going to go on the back here, and we are going to place one block all the way back. Going right up to here. And once again, this is actually three blocks. So that means we... I forgot to raise this up by one. So go ahead and do that. There we go. So it looks just like this, and it should end up right here. Once again, we're going to have something going all the way around this, so don't mind, don't, um, don't mind that. So now we're going to add one thing. So here, we're going to go one up and place one, two, three blocks. This is going to go all the way across. And it should end up right here. And then you go one uh, one more up by three blocks, so it looks like that, and then go all the way across there. There we go. 
go, so now it's connecting there. And here you can go one more block up and and come all the way out to this block. And you go all the way across to here and just come all the way back. For now, go ahead and fill this part in here. Um, just for now, we're gonna add more, but there's gonna be there's gonna be a um, big circle here, a big glass dome opening for the actual prize counter that's going to be above that we will eventually get to, but we're going to add that next, and then we'll continue adding all the roof around, but for now, just go ahead and fill this in, and I'll be right back. Alright, so once we have gotten this filled in, we are going to go ahead and actually add these things again on both sides, now on this here, to cover up some of the stone. So, come out to here, and we're going to go two blocks out, so right to here, so on this second block, place one, two, three, four, five, six. Go up one, that's one, two, up another, one, two, up another, one, two, three, four, five, six, up another, and then go all the way across until it, it is once again three blocks out. So it should be three blocks like that, and then this is obviously going to go all the way to the end. It look like that. And then just fill, you can go ahead and fill all of this in right here. Alright, there we go. Now let's go ahead and add in some of these sea lanterns. So now that kind of covers up the stone. So let's add in some of the sea lanterns. So here, let's go two blocks. Let's add one there. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, up one, like right there. One, two, three, four, five, up one, two, or like, yeah, one there. Then one, two, three, four, five, up one there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Kind of close together, then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it kind of looks so it looks like this from under. So you now have these lights under, kind of lighting that up, and also blocking the stone so you don't see that. So now let's do the exact same thing on this side. So now instead we're gonna go three blocks out, and we are going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks. Go up, place one, place one, two, then one, two, then one, so it looks just like that. Then go up one more, and we're going to go all the way across, until once again, it, it is one, two, three blocks. And you can move this back, so it is three blocks here, and then you can go ahead and fill all of this in here. There we go, now that we have all of that in. Now with these sea lanterns, we're actually going to go ahead and place sea lanterns all the way across until it ends right on that. Same thing on this side, we're going to do this, so it also kind of lights up this up there, lights up that roof up there. We're not, we're not going to do it here, but we're only going to do it on these two sides. Now that we have this, this built in, let's go ahead and add these sea lanterns. So let's go right here and place one there, so it has room for- actually, you know what? Let's just not add one there. So go from here, one, two, three, four, five on the fifth. One, two, three, four, five, six, up one, there. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So there we go. We now have all of the lights under here and on there. And now, you can you don't see the stone at all, which makes it look even better. So now we're going to go ahead and add this ring that is above the actual main golden statue. Alright, so now we are going to grab your magenta concrete, sea lantern, black stained glass, and black concrete. Starting on this block, we can get rid of that. Starting on this block, we can place one, or go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the eighth block, place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there should be one, two, three, four, five. There should there, okay. There's six on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is seven on that side. Okay, so it is a bit off. Okay, that is fine. That's actually fine. It's, it's one block off once again. It, in game, it's not per it's perfectly centered. So one, it should be seven extra blocks on this side and six blocks on this side. I don't like how it's like that. I could do this, make it ten blocks. But otherwise, it would make this uneven. But so just keep that like that. Um, so here we're going to place one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. 
On this side, we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. Then from here, we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. On this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we're going to place 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there we go, we now have this kind of a little, I mean, it's basically a circle. Once again, it's not exactly centered, but in game, it actually is not directly centered in, in front of the actual statue. Um, I may be wrong, you can correct me if I, if I am, but that is what we're going to do. And we are going to actually add an extra layer, so one extra layer down on everything. So in all, it is two blocks, so it should look like this below, and keep these two blocks here, because that's what we're going to have it as. Now, we're going to go ahead and grab our sea lanterns, and from the very middle, we're going to place one, two, three, just like that. Here, we're going to place one, two, three, like that, so, like that, and then here, in the center again, one, two, three, like that. Same thing in the corner here, one, two, three, here, just like that, in the center, here, just like that. Here, one, two, three, so it's in the center, and also here as well. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and add the giant glass dome that is over the statue. So here, we are going to go one on this side, we're going to have one there, one there, and one there. So it should, there should be four blocks on the center on each side, and we're going to add two here. We're going to go up one, two, one, so it should be one, two, three, one, two, one, then one, two, one, two, three, like that. Here we're going to add 1, 2, so that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, and then 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it should just connect just like that. So now we're going to go, once again, the exact same thing, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, same thing here, that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, so now it should just look just like this. So we're going to go ahead and add the glass in. So follow along with what I am doing, so we are going to add, we are going to use black stained glass and place this all around the magenta concrete outline. So you're gonna, I'm gonna show you what, I'm gonna give you two examples here and here, and then you're going to do the exact same thing on here. So it may be a little confusing, but I'll show you what I mean. So we're, so this is what we are going to do. When you get to these corners, add one and get rid of that corner. So it should look just like this from the underside. There are no corners like that so it kind of makes it makes it look more even by looking like that it looks obviously a bit off but that is fine do the same thing here get rid of those corners so it looks like that now it's a, still a bit off and then just add two blocks here so it looks like that and then just like that so this is the one side that we're going to do, and I'm going to do the exact- I'm going to give you one more example on this side, and then you guys are going to do these two on your own. So do the exact same thing that we did here. Place the black concrete going all the way around. And then place two blocks here again. Once again, get rid of those edges. It's, it's doing the exact same thing on from this side on this side. Once again, with the one block, get rid of those edges. And place two blocks here going across and two blocks there so it should match up and then have it so it looks just like this so now that is this side and this side now go ahead and do this side and this side and I'll see you guys in just one second all right so now we have this side and this side all filled in so it should look like this from the underside I just took a screenshot for some reason so it should the statue that is facing this way this is what the glass should look like and the opposite way, facing the elevators, this is what the glass should look like. So this is what it should look like from the inside. And now what we are going to do, you do not have to do this of course, but if you want to have a skylight shining in, like shining on the statue to make it look more brighter, you can keep this totally open if you want to. But also, if you guys want to make it like all dark, you can go ahead and add black concrete that goes all the way around, covering all of the glass, if you do do that, there should be no glass showing whatsoever. What that is going to do, that is going to make it so you cannot see any of the skylight, and so you cannot see anything above. Because when we build the atrium, the atrium will be, we will add the actual elevator shafts. 
we will add the actual elevator shafts going upward. And the atrium will be in the view of this. So that means when we do build the atrium, you will be able to see the actual atrium from inside here. So that's why just in, in case, you can honestly, you can leave this open for now before we do that, which I'm going to leave this open for now. But if you want to, you can add black um, black concrete all over the glass if you want to. It will, it will make the place darker. Like, it will make this statue a lot darker and a lot harder to see. I'll give you an example. So it will basically look like this, but it's still it's going to be darker. It's not going to exactly look like this. It's going to be this, but also darker. So that's just an example of what it can of what it will look like. I'm going to keep it just like this. I'm going to keep it open, um, just so I can have skylight shining in for now. When we build the atrium, I think I will cover it with all the black concrete. But for now, I'm going to keep it like that. So now we are going to go ahead and actually start working on this next part. So I'm going to outline what we are going to place the roof on next. So just follow along with what I am doing here. And place the, all the stone where I am placing it because the, I am outlining where we are going to place the next part of the roof. And you're going to go right out to this pillar here. And it's going to go all the way across until it matches up with this red pillar. And going all the way there when placing it all the way to here. You should go around here. And it should end up right down here. And once again, it's going to go also all the way around this. So you can go ahead and outline all of this. Or you don't have to outline it. I'm actually, I'm just showing you what we're going to do. So all of this stuff that I outlined with all of the stone, all of this will be filled in with just the stone. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And it also is going to be very dark in here. So I'll be right back. So, this is what it should look like when it is all completely covered with all of the stone. It is co going all the way around the dome, and it should look just like this, all the way under. Obviously, it is, it is still a bit, it is definitely still pretty dark. So, we're going to go ahead and grab our sea lanterns, our light gray, car light gray carpet, black and white carpet, and we're going to go ahead and place sea lanterns all around the place just to, and cover them up, just to brighten the place up more, just like we did with the entrance, or with the actual entrance area over there. You can also place some sea lanterns, like around here, and you can place some here and there, and cover them up, so you cannot see them. Just going all the way around the place, you can place them here, like around where the doors are. Oh, wait. There we go. And also, in front of these stairs, place three in, in front of each of the stairs to brighten up the stairs. And also back here, we can add some extra sea lanterns, just to brighten it up. And we can probably place some up here. We have sea lanterns up there, which is fine. I'd say let's add one right there, and just do the exact same thing there. So one, just one sea lantern each in the middle. Um, I do not believe we will need sea lanterns here because we already have these giant neon signs, which I'll show you what it looks like when we add this part of the roof next. But I believe we can probably, let's add a couple more, so like we'll add uh, each uh, sea lanterns in each of these corners by the, by the fountain, or by the statue. So there we go, and now it looks like this, and maybe, I think actually that looks fine. So now we have lights around the place just to, hold, just to light this, this area up. So now, let's go ahead and fin and add this one part of the roof, and call the entire entrance 100% complete. So let's go ahead and add this now. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and grab our blue terracotta, and we're going to start outlining this part of the roof up here. So just follow along with what, what I am doing. Actually, wait, hold on. My bad, my bad, my bad. This is actually one layer below the stone. So it should be one block below. It should be on the red, connecting with the pillar. And it should be just be going around one block below the stone roof. Going all the way around. Covering it here as well. And going across here. And it should just line up right back here. So go ahead and this should all be filled in and I will see you in just one second. Very right back. All right, all right so there we go. This, this is now what it looks like all filled in with the blue terracotta as the roof. Obviously, now the here at the daycare, which we will do next, go ahead and just place the iron at that ready. Go ahead and just place black concrete. Build that. Wow, guys, yeah, dark, dark. Place it behind there. Let's go ahead and add some of the sea lanterns to brighten this place up. 
So we'll grab your sea lanterns and we can grab our purple and magenta concrete. I mean purple and magenta carpet. And place our sea lanterns around in just the corners. Just to brighten it up. We can place two in front of the elevators on each side. Another in the corner here. We can place one in the corner there. And an all in front of these stairs. There we go, so now it is more lit up up here, and we will eventually add the elevators to the atrium after everything else. But now that we have done that, also, I have added this above the roof, just to show you what it would look like if you did add it. And as I said before, it is very dark. It may not be as dark as I showed you, but you, it still is. It makes it more difficult to actually see the statue. That is why I had it open, and I, as you can see, zero glass is showing it is all covered in black concrete that is just an option for you you can do that if you totally want to but you can also leave it open if you want to i'm going to leave it just like this just for now i'm going to get rid of that eventually but that is what i'm going to have it as now one last thing before we finish this place there are a couple decorations that we need to add or actually like two of them so grab your bars you have your red wool, purple wool, pink wool, sorry, pink wool, magenta wool, green wool, and orange wool. We're going to add the hanging actual banners, or like some of the hanging banners. So I'm going to quickly uh, come up with a design real quick, and I will show you what I did. I will be right back. Alright, so I just came up with a quick design. So this is this banner has Roxy and Chica. This banner has Freddy and Monty. I just came up with a really quick design. This is obviously not what they look like in game, but this is just what I made them as. And where you place them, so from these two corners, you want to go one, two, three blocks out on the fourth block, place a bar there and the space, and place a bar there. And then you can go ahead and copy down this design that I made right here. And the exact same thing on this side, this is one, two, three, on the fourth block is a bar, skipping one is another bar, so it should look like just like that. And then you can go ahead and copy down this design as well. Now, one quick, one quick thing before we end. We, there is one thing we forgot to add, and that is the hole above the elevator that leads up to the prize counter. So we're going to go ahead and grab our crimson slabs and our black concrete. We're going to place four, actually right about one, two, three, four, actually, no, uh, four right there, so it's in the middle. And then we will place one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, there. And now just get rid of this and break it all out. And you can go ahead and place your black concrete in these in this stone area right here. And we're just going to kind of make it go upward by three blocks and go all the way around just to make it seem like it goes somewhere. You're obviously not going to be seeing that, but just to give it kind of uh, an illusion. I'm not sure if it's going to do anything, but we're going to do that. And then just place black concrete all on top. There we go. All right, so now we have all of this on top and fill that in. And there we go, so now it now it just uh, lines up with the elevator, or does it in... No, that does not line up at all. Uh, well, it, is, it doesn't really matter, it's mainly just there for decoration, but it should look just like that. So, now, finally, after two to three weeks, we have all finally completed the entire Five Nights at Freddy's Security Beach main entrance. I hope you guys that are enjoying this series, and I can't wait to build the daycare. Great job, everybody, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Well, there you have it. The entire tutorial on the main entrance is finally finished. I really enjoyed building this, and I hope that you guys enjoyed building this too. For anyone wondering if I will do any other parts of the Pizza Plex, the answer is yes. We will be building the daycare next, which I am unsure when we will start that. You can always get updates on the tutorial videos or any of the showcase videos in the Butter United Discord server. The link for that will be in the description, and it's totally up for you to join. But I hope that you guys enjoy are enjoying these tutorial videos, and if so, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to know when more tutorials or showcases of the build come out. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. See ya.